We're still waiting. Yeah. And I have a bus which goes from here to um, from Göreme to Trabzon, and it leaves in about 15 minutes. Um, Trabzon is is in the northeastern part of Turkey. This will be another 11-hour night bus. I think it's the it's only the third night bus I've had in Turkey, but the fourth I've had until now. Yeah, nice. <laughs> but I'm. <laughs> I'm looking forward to see a different landscape. Don't get me wrong, Cappadocia is amazing. It's really amazing and I would highly recommend you to come here and see it. It's unbelievable. But after like three or four days seeing the rocks all the time, I'm really looking forward to just see something else, like anything. <laughs> no, but still, like, hands down, it's, it's pretty nice. It's definitely worth visiting. Okay, so uh, I just arrived in. I look fucking tired. Also. So I just arrived in a uh, trap zone and it's 8 am in the morning and I don't know where I am. It's there are so many bus stations here and I kind of have to figure out which one I am and then I will yeah, walk to the hostel I think I only stay here for one night because the hostel is really expensive and it's still the most cheapest the cheapest I could find around here so yeah, let's go but I have to say this area looks much different than before or than anything I've seen in Turkey until now it looks really nice. Somehow, in this city, there are barely any street signs. Found it. Oh. Made it. <laughs> so, we're having some breakfast right now and some. Coffee, it's been a while. I've had coffee, some blah, it's like some tea, some tomatoes, bread, and olives. I'm so exhausted and I'm so smelly and sticky. And I think today I'm gonna, I'm gonna rest and um, yeah, edit videos. And I really would like to visit the mountains. That's actually the reason why I came here just to see another side, a different side of Turkey, but maybe I can do a day trip in the afternoon, that would be good. Yeah, let's see what's gonna happen. So I'm uploading a new video now, and now I'm gonna take... This is much better. The video is still uploading. It's taking ages, which only means I have one more coffee and I'm gonna start editing the next video. So, <laughs> still editing a new video. Actually, this is the first video of Turkey I'm editing right now, so I'm two weeks behind Really sorry for that. Um, oh, another thing I wanted to like to talk about is that um, <laughs> this video still oh it's fifty percent. Oh, it's taking like ages to upload. But anyways, what I want to say is that I'm really grateful that I can do this trip. I'm unbelievably grateful for the opportunity that I can do this, that I can take the time, like take a whole year, almost a whole year to just travel, like to just take my backpack and just to go wherever I want. It's <laughs> 
it's hard to describe the the feeling I have. It's um, of course it's a little bit it's it's, it's exhausting. Like you t take loads of night buses and it's like I get really bad sleep and then you arrive in a city, you're totally lost and you have this um, communication problems like my Turkish is very limited and like no offense but like many people here don't speak very good English so like like some points you're just really lost and like you're looking for street signs you can't find any street signs and you have your, your phone you have, um, I'm using this app it's called maps.me it's really good but my GPS doesn't work or if it works then it kind of jumps around the map and uh, like you're super tired you're super like smelly you didn't shower you, you couldn't brush your teeth and then you're like walking around and like oh and it's hot and everything but besides all that I'm so grateful I can do this I'm grateful that I can travel and that I can shoot videos and that I can edit them um, Put them online <laughs> yeah that's all i want to say and i think i'm gonna continue editing now and hope that it will upload in the next few hours <laughs> okay oh by the way tomorrow i think i will go into the mountains mm, let's hope <laughs> okay So that was my lunch. It's a um, Schiköfte. Schiköfte. I hope I'm saying it right. Um, it's. Oh, it's almost getting married. So Schiköfte used to be raw meat, but now it's made of a bulgur and some spices. So it's actually vegan, which is pretty nice. So I've had a lot of Shikofte since I'm in Turkey. <laughs> okay, and let's go back to work. <laughs> Seems like the video is finally uploaded. What it has? Has uploaded? Has uploaded? Okay. I'm just gonna go here to uh, publish. Sweet! I just got a salad with some almonds, um, some lettuce, and olive oil and stuff. And the friend of the owner of the hostel, she made the salad and yeah, <laughs> it's very nice. So it's almost midnight and I finished one video complete. It's, it's uploading right now and it's at like 74% and I just finished um, looking into the, the footage I did in Istanbul and I think it's going to be two videos because it's just so much stuff and yeah now I'm, I'm importing all the videos like all the footage I like into the editing software and maybe uh, today or tonight I can even like start to edit a bit but it's just so much footage it's like 
it's, it's really overwhelming. But there are a few very nice shots, like a few of them are really like, not all, but a few. So I just woke up, I had a proper six hours of sleep, and now it's time for some coffee. Ooh, bitter. <laughs> Breakfast is over, there's only <laughs> one piece of potato left. And I'm just gonna eat it now. Um, oh yeah, gonna continue editing. Hmm? Hmm. My mom just commented on my last video where I was in the UFO. She said that I should really have worn different shoes <laughs> with the flip-flops. <laughs> but I, I'm, I did mention in the video that there was a stupid thing. Like, I did mention that you shouldn't do it like the way I did it. No. Nah. Okay. That's where we get our electricity from. Interesting. Sure. So it's day three of my rest days and the last two days I was editing videos. I didn't edit as much as I hope I could have, like I would have edited, but, but yeah, but today I want to do something else. Like I'm, actually, I'm actually here in the north because of mountains and hiking, Like, but I can't find like a proper place in the mountains to stay because apparently this is the only hostel in this region. And the only other places are just like way like out of my budget and yeah, but I don't know, I want to go somewhere. Let's do it! And now I'm in the mountains. Okay, it actually took a little while to get here. Okay, so first I had to walk to the minibus station, which was kind of difficult because it kind of seems that the cities, uh, the streets in Trapson, they don't have street signs. I had a map of Trapson with the minibus station mark in, but I just couldn't find it, it was difficult to find and I had to ask for directions and all that stuff and when I finally got there, there were like hundreds <laughs> okay, no, thousands, okay there were like 50 minibuses and we drove to uh, Mashka like a city close, like a city in the mountains and from there I was trying to hitchhike <laughs> I'm so happy that I'm here. This whole area is called like the the Turkish Alps, something like that. And it's so beautiful, so nice. And it's like it's pretty cool to see another side of the Turkish landscape, like not like only rocks and stuff, but like trees and mountains and hills. And look at this. <laughs> it's really nice, really beautiful. And like there was like some kind of like traffic jams. We were trying to get here. It was actually really like, scary because it would be super deep and uh, super steep and deep on the one side, and then like cars were like squeezing past each other. Very uh, adventurous. Okay, but now let's walk or let's hike and have a look at the Sumela Monastery. <laughs> Yeah, that's it. <laughs> the monastery is closed, so you can't go there. You can only go to that viewing platform kind of thing. And <laughs> so that's it of the monastery. Uh, kind of sad, but okay. Maybe they'll reopen soon, I hope, for others. <laughs> so I'm not I'm just gonna go walk a little bit and enjoy the beautiful, beautiful nature. I just met a couple who uh, picked me up to get here and they offered me to, you know, like go back again and they were so friendly. But actually I want to keep on walking a little bit 
and exploring this beautiful nature. And that's it. So I'm trying to get back to the hostel. First I have to get to Mashkar and from there I will have to get on a minibus to Trabzon. Which only means hitchhiking part two. Okay, let's see. Still waiting. <laughs> Such a nice dude. The guy he just took me all the way from the um, from the monastery, from the mountains, to the city, to Trabzon. Oh, really awesome. Really friendly. So now I just have to go, like, get some food, and then go back to the hostel. Ooh. Which only means that I have to eat, shower, and edit videos. And now it's um, 1 a.m. in the morning and I just almost finished the third video. That's how it looks like. It's a curious timeline with all the stuff. It's not done yet. Okay, so I just finished editing the second video of Istanbul and now I have to go and a bus ticket from Trabzon to Tbilisi in Georgia. And that's the ticket. Leaving tonight at 10.30 and hopefully arrive tomorrow at around 10 in the capital of Georgia. Okay, so now I'm so I'm packing my things to get ready to leave in a few hours, and yeah, I still have to edit another video, and yeah, look at look at this, in my bag. There's another hole again, and now it's not the zipper, but it's actually here, like where the zipper is attached to, like like suit on suit. Oh man. I think I will try to get this fixed in Georgia and in, in Tbilisi. <laughs> so difficult to say that name somehow. I don't know why. Okay. Yeah, that's it. Oh, and by the way, I almost had the chance to hitch a ride with some dudes from Italy because they were doing the Mongolian rally, like charity rally challenge. I think that's what it's called. So they drive. Oh, like most of the people, this is a whole group apparently, they all drive from Brussels to Mongolia. And these guys, they drove, they're, they're driving from Italy, Milan to uh, Mongolia, which is pretty cool. 
but unfortunately, like they're also going from Trabzon to uh, Tbilisi. Actually, today they already left, but I, I, I couldn't come with them because they didn't have a seat left. Like they, yeah, they only had like two seats in their car, and the rest they used for like storage uh, uh, place. <laughs> and yeah, unfortunately, this was no place for me, so now I have to take the bus. And the bus leaves in uh, yeah, in about two and a half hours, so I still have time to edit some stuff and then, yeah, get ready. So, see you at the bus station. So I just walked here, it's like a proper 45 minutes walk with my backpack. And, yeah. I must say, I'm super stoked about going to Georgia. I mean, like, think about it, like, Georgia is the country which is, like, named after me. And this is just like, okay, I'm just kidding. Now I'm just really stoked about going to Georgia and I've heard so many like good things about it. Like every, everybody who's been there, who's been traveling there told me that Georgia is just great and amazing everything. So I'm really excited to see it for myself. Goodbye, Turkey. That's it from Turkey. And um, yeah, I hope you liked it. I hope you liked the videos. I hope you liked the, the things that happened there and the places I went to. Um, so now I want to just say a few words about traveling in Turkey. First of all, for me, it was very nice, it was very convenient, like you have loads of buses, you have accommodation, and that was all pretty good. And also to me, like people were, I think, mostly very friendly and very helpful. But then there are two things I want to talk about which aren't really nice. The first one, is littering. Of course Turkey is not the only country where there is like I think a lot of littering and like especially after Turkey it kind of got worse. <laughs> um, but I just want to say like like littering in Turkey like you see all like landscapes and like for example at the beach where Antoine and I went there was a lot of litter. Um, yeah, like in this video in the mountains, there was a lot of litter. It just seems like sometimes people, when they have something in their hand, like a plastic bottle or something they don't need anymore, they just throw it on the ground, like whatever. They don't even go to the next like trash bin, even though that's like 10 meters away. No, just throw it on the floor, like or throw it on the ground. I don't understand this, really. So, yeah, littering just really. <laughs> It was really annoying to me. Okay, so the other thing is something I didn't experience by myself, I didn't experience like personally, but I've been told that this actually happens. And that's like female travelers, like solo travelers or people like female travelers together, they've been approached aggressively, like sexual aggressively by men. And this apparently is like mostly happened in Istanbul and kind of way and I've heard several stories about this like this is not one girl telling me that something happened but several and that's why I actually just wanted to mention it even though I did not experience this by myself and I want to mention like I want to emphasize that not every guy in Turkey or in Istanbul is like some like wants to to have something but I just want to say that this happened and that if, if you go there just like well, kind of keep it in mind, or you probably already know it if you informed yourself about it. Um, I'm not definitely not saying that every guy is like this. Like I've met many really nice guys in Turkey, like friendly and everything. But yeah, that's the second like not so nice thing about Turkey. But anyways, like for me, again, traveling in Turkey was was good. It was a nice experience. There were nice landscapes and like friendly people and also like awesome um, fellow travelers so it was, it was really good so yeah next country is Georgia and well thank you for watching and hope to see you soon bye